May brings with it bright blue skies that lift our spirits mentally and physically as this month we put the face on health. Here we are at the D. Campbell Rowing Center, a modern and well-equipped boathouse on the Potomac River in Alexandria, the home of Titan Rowing. The boathouse, occupied since 1986, was named in honor of longtime coach D. Campbell in 2006. This is among the finest rowing facilities in the United States and is one of just a few owned by a public high school. Alexandria City High School's rowing program is one of the oldest and most successful in the country, established back in 1947. Rowing is an exciting, competitive sport involving skill, teamwork, strength, and stamina. Meaning that rowing takes a lot of strength, both mentally and physically, making this the ideal setting as we observe Mental Health Awareness Month with the 2023 campaign theme, Look Around and Look Within. May is also National Physical Fitness and Sports Month. This initiative, established by the President's Council on Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition in 1983, is aimed at encouraging Americans to adopt healthy lifestyles. It's true that benefits of physical fitness extend to our overall well-being, body and mind. We see it in our schools and research affirms that physical fitness helps reduce anxiety, improve self-esteem and alleviate social withdrawal. An action as simple as walk around the block or rowing on the Potomac can make a world of difference in our daily lives. So let's get out and get active as we also celebrate National Physical Education and Sports Week with the theme, Belonging, a place in sport for every child. And National Bike and Roll to School Day reminding us to follow the rules of the road and remember to wear a helmet and lace up those shoes. Recognizing the importance of diversity within our school community, we observe Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month with the theme, Advancing Leaders Through Opportunity. Let us celebrate and recognize the contributions and influence of Asian Americans and Pacific Islander Americans to the history, culture, and achievements of the United States. This month, we are also celebrating our staff within the school division. During National Teacher Appreciation Week, it's time to let our teachers know that they are simply the best working tirelessly to help all students learn, grow, and fulfill their potential. A heartfelt thank you can go a long way to show our teachers they are valued and that we recognize teaching is a work of heart. With their evergreen theme, You Make a Difference, this month we also celebrate School Nurses Day and National Nurses Week. Nurses take on a variety of roles in the school setting as they provide a positive impact on the well-being of students and staff. And I thank you for your service. School Lunch Hero Day is on May 5th. Every day, our school nutrition team gives their all from menu planning to food preparation. Might I suggest the next time you're in the school cafeteria, let our staff know you appreciate their service. Our final set of recognitions for the month center around communications. The art of communication is essential. Making Better Hearing and Speech Month, we can do our part in building a strong foundation that the American Speech Language Hearing Association is calling for to make effective communication a human right, accessible and achievable for all. And just like a ray of sunshine benefits our health and well-being, so does the sound of music. Celebrating National Music Week, we encourage our students to consider taking part in choral, band, and orchestra, and showing appreciation for our music teachers who are providing them with a lifelong skill. Without the fine work of our communications team, this video would not be possible. I would like to thank each and every one of you as we observe School Communicators Day on the second Friday in May. As we close, let us honor those who gave their lives for our country and the sacrifice their families have made. Memorial Day is on May the 29th and there is no school that day. 
Let us take a minute to pause to remember our military personnel who died while serving in the United States Armed Forces. Thank you.